All right, welcome back to Built From Home, guys. And, uh, you know, as you can tell on my video, it's been snowing a lot. So I haven't had much opportunity to go out and test this new mapping feature on my Jumper T16. But uh, this afternoon, I was able to get out. It was a beautiful day. The weather was calm. And I took it for a spin. And to be honest, I was very, very impressed. And what I want to show you in this video is just what this looks like and some of the features that it does have on it. The one issue I did have was the um, the maps. I was trying to download them really quick before I left and I only got one zoom level and you'll you'll see that. So I have tested all the other zoom levels and they do work but in this video I'm only using one. Um, the flight went really well and except for <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, I was the cameraman, the pilot, and, you know, everything all at once. So I apologize if there's any shaky video, and I try to keep my radio as still as possible, as you see coming up here. I uh, try to give you an idea of what you can see while you're flying. I took it out, gave it a little altitude, and decided to... Uh, go ahead and try to fly by only FPV and the GPS uh, maps. And as you can see, I kind of like how there is a yellow dot. In the one yellow dot, you'll notice it represents the home. And as I start flying away, that yellow dot stays there. That way, when you're looking down at the map, you can always see, all right, there's my location, which is a really, really nice feature. I did not know that existed until I started flying. Now on this screen you can see I have my altitude on the left. I do have some sensors that I don't have hooked up. Like I don't have a speed sensor and things like that. Um, however, it's okay. And I love how on the right hand side you will notice that I do have my, my battery indicator. Now I'm able to flip between the different pages with the switch. And so I can see all my flight statistics on uh, this home page here. And then I can flip back over to the maps when I need to. Uh, you'll notice that my copter's kind of rocking back and forth. I was trying to kind of play around with it a little bit, but my gimbal obviously kept the, the video very smooth. And a lot of this, I just kind of want you guys to be able to see uh, what it looks like while you're flying. And so hopefully you can kind of enjoy some of this footage. There's nothing really special. I was just flying around this field honestly just testing the, the maps. I did decide to kind of push the envelope a little and go outside the range of what the, the map shows because I wanted to see what happens and the maps automatically updated, which I assumed that was gonna be the case because that's what documentation says and everything, but I wanted to be sure. And it was really awesome to see how the maps just auto-populate. And then if you know you have the zoom feature, it's really cool to be able to like zoom out and see where your home location is in accordance to where your copter or you know drone plane is at that time. The trailing dots is kind of a nice feature as well, you know where your uh, copter has been. That's kind of nice to see. Again, I do apologize for the shakiness of my radio as I'm trying to, you know, fly, look over the shoulder of my camera, or, and do everything at once. One thing I do want to note, just to let you guys know, my favorite feature about these scripts are the audio messages. Now, because I'm doing this voiceover right now, you can't hear the radio talking to me. However, it does alert you when you get a certain threshold on your battery, and you can configure that in the scripts. And that is a really cool feature because, you know, I don't really have to be paying attention to the battery indicator when I know it's going to alert me when I'm at 60%, 50%, 30%, and things like that, or whatever you decide to configure. I also love it when it tells me things like, oh, I'm switching to loiter to, you know, um, different flight modes, altitude hold mode, return to home, and it just tells me, and that gives me a reassurance that what I have, you know, pressed or what button I have switched on or off or whatever. As you can see here, I'm about to fly outside the range of what the map is indicating on my radio. And watch closely as the map will auto adjust to the new uh, coordinates that I'm going at. And it happened right there. So that's really, really neat. 
And again, if I had the, the other zooms, which I don't, you can see here it says no map data, um, it would then zoom out and you can kind of see a, a bigger picture of what, uh, what's happening on the maps. And again, I have confirmed that does work, I have done it, but just at this time, <laughs> I was rushing out the door and my maps didn't completely uh, download and so I ran out with only some of them on there. One thing I really do love about this radio and this script specifically is the amount of messages that come in. I am able to know exactly what's happening on my copter at all times and that is so nice. I can see the flight altitude, the battery percentages, and you know at one point I had a GPS glitch and it was really 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 cool to see and the radio actually told me you know GPS glitch. That was so neat. And to be able to have that kind of power while you're flying, to have something talking to you, telling you everything that's going on, really just is amazing. I remember a couple times flying a drone a couple years ago where I didn't have any kind of telemetry and my drone crashed. And I was just puzzled until I went and looked at the flight data. It's really good to have that idea while you're flying. And I do apologize right now as uh, I'm losing my video camera pointing at my radio that's because my battery ran out on my camera and my you know hustle and bustle trying to get out the door and get all my drone packed and whatever I forgot to charge my camera battery that was pointing down at my radio so you only got to see most you got to see most of the the flight but it kind of gives you the idea and I just wanted to again give um, hats off to Yapu the creator of the script um, at least that's what it goes by on github and for the awesome contributors, in, both in the community and elsewhere, that have made this possible to be able to use. Uh, my first video, uh, how I was able to set this all up, got quite a bit of attraction from people. And hopefully, you know, if you followed that video, you were able to figure it out and use this mapping feature and the whole script in general. I mean, it's not just about the mapping feature. It's about the entire script, the whole suite that you can install and use. Hopefully you're happy with it. I know I am extremely happy with it. And if you haven't seen those other videos, go ahead and look back. I'll leave links in the description. But anyway, guys, uh, this is kind of it. Just want to, to give you a little tip and a little idea of how my first flight went with my mapping feature. And if you're interested in more, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, I'll be coming out with more content and more things to come shortly. I'm specifically going to be adding on some new features to my drone, which if you don't know, this is my Terret 650 Sport extended arm, um, extended props, Pixhawk 4. I'll also leave links to those videos where I do an entire build series on this drone. So until next time, enjoy your flights.